Hey kids, welcome to lesson 15, processing arrays, using a Boolean variable as a flag. We are going to do a challenge that is similar to the last exercise, but rather than counting the number of fives in an array, we're going to use a different interesting programming technique for processing arrays that might prove useful to you in the future. Hmm. I think that means we're going to revisit this idea a lot, so we should probably get down whatever is happening here. Using a Boolean flag. The technique is generally referred to as using a Boolean flag. To understand this idea, think about how some mailboxes work. The flag starts down, and when a person wants to let the mail carrier know there's something to pick up, she puts the flag up to notify the mail carrier there's some outgoing mail in the mailbox. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. I know in my neighborhood, we just put the envelope up. No red flags here. We can use a variable to do something similar when programming. Rather than incrementing a count every time we find a five in the array, we will use a variable that acts like a flag. We will create a variable before the loop and assign it false to start. The flag is down, essentially. Then, as we process the array, if we find a five, set the variable to true or put the flag up. We have some pseudocode here. The variable flag equals false each time in the list. If it equals five, flag is going to be true. That means we're going to look through the code. If we happen to have a five, we are going to substitute true in for false under our variable flag. Notice that it doesn't matter if we find more than one five, it'll just keep setting the flag to true. However, if there are no fives, the if statement in the loop will never execute. And so the variable remain the value it was initialized to, which is false. We have it do this, implement the pseudocode above in JavaScript. We've given you code that constructs an array of random values and the standard for loop for looping over the array. The output will be no different from previous exercises, but you should still confirm that your program correctly identifies the fives in an array. Looks like we have our example down here. Original, we got the numbers and it's saying true. There's a five over here, it's saying false. There is no fives. We're gonna to have to make this pseudo code here into JavaScript. Let's look at the code. Like the last lessons, we have a test array. It is currently empty. We have a for loop here. It is going to run 10 times. What is it going to do 10 times? It's going to append item or add to the end of a list. What list? Test array. What's it going to do? It's going to add a random number between zero and 10. It's then going to display in our debug console, original and test array, which are the numbers. That looks like our example down here. We have process the array. We have our variable flag, which is set to false. We have our for loop here, which looks like their pseudo code. We are going to run 10 times. It says, put your code here. I think that's where we'll put our code. And we have another console.log message that says there is fives in the array plus flag. That means it is going to say true or false. Their display just says true or false. We don't need this whole string here. We just need to display flag, which is either going to be true or false. Looking back at our pseudo code, this looks a lot like what we've been doing before. If an item equals five, then we're going to do something to it. Previously, we added to our number of fives. This time, it looks like we're just going to put the word true. That means that it'll only display true if there's a five in our array. Well, how's that code look? For my previous lessons, I had my if statement. We can just drag an if statement in here. If our test array index is 
equal to 5. We are going to change the flag variable to true. Then at the end, we just want to display whatever the current variable for flag is. If there is no fives, it's false. If there is a five, should be true. Let's see if that happens. Run. We got a five, it says true. No fives, false. Looks like our code is working the way it should. Five, true. I think our code is functioning properly. Looking back up here to our do this, we implemented this pseudo code up here in JavaScript. And we verified the output was the same as before. This time, displaying true if there was a five or false if there was none. Well, I think that's all code.org wanted. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.